What's going on YouTube? Back at you with another video. Bro, so I just got through watching Power Episode 9 and bro, when I tell you things are getting crazy, things are getting crazy. And I'm not even like the recap kind of channel. I don't even really kind of do those sorts of videos, but in this case scenario, because this is like my favorite show on TV period. This is the only show that I really kind of go out on my Oh my gosh. This is the only show that I really go out of my way to watch weekly and because it's coming to an end and we're not going to get, you know, more episodes of Power for probably another year after next weekend. I got to talk about this. So, I'm going to watch the season finale uh trailer and then I'm going to get my thoughts on, you know, the previous episode and then I'm going to get into my uh predictions for the finale which I I think I pretty much, you know, cut and dry, but you know, let's go let's go ahead. We ready to do this or what? I'm in. All is fair in love and war. Why are you backing out now? I'm just saying we need to be careful. Yo, this man is a straight informant and then these two despicable. They deserve each other. Do they deserve each other. Love. You're not alone, don't care. Okay. We do whatever it takes for power. It's him or me, Kane. After this, you ain't never gonna be the same. All right, let me tell y'all something. That person right there is Brayden. That is Brayden. Now, yeah, so I'm gonna get into my prediction first. So basically, Brayden, who in one aspect i respect him for being loyal but then i also respect the fact that you know he was gonna just he gave basically he gave he was gonna give lauren money and then just tell her to go because at the end of the day it's like did they really have to kill her no you know was killing her necessary partially you know what i'm saying i, I think i think the best thing you know for I think it would have been win-win for everybody if Lauren just took the money and left. I don't think she doesn't strike me as a type of chick to probably just decide to to come back into the fold. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I, she, to me, she's not really that type of person. So I respected the fact that that Braden was just like, you know what? I was supposed to kill you, but take this money, go ahead and and run, and just don't come back. And my thing is. And this is one of the reasons why I hate to read. Like, I understand being self-interested, but at the same time, it's like, yo, like, Lauren was your girl. Like, you claim to have cared about her at some point. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't ensure the fact that she was safe. Look at the people that, that, you're, that you're dealing with. So it's like, if I was Tariq, I would have already known that I have to make sure that she's safe myself. I'm not going to entrust that to Brayden. Because Brayden only care is is another one. They're cut from the same cloth. I said that like Brayden and Tariq are two idiotic peas in a pod. So so Brayden has that same mindset, that same thought process. But I feel like the guilt, you know, of the fact that he let Effie, you know, go and kill Lauren, and Effie her herself felt bad about it. You know, going back to Tariq's dorm room and, you know, going to see she couldn't sleep. You know, with bags on her eyes and shit because she killed an innocent that she didn't have to kill. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I also blame Lauren because Lauren, yo ass, like, you should have known, you know, from jump that Tariq was a piece of shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, Lauren cheated on her mans to get with this guy who ended up getting you killed. You know, she, she just didn't have to die. You know, in my opinion. Um... Mecca is really giving me, you know, Lawrence Fishburne, you know, saying Ike Turner vibes because I'm talking about like the littlest thing that you do, that you do or say that this man don't like, and it's either you're getting your ass whooped or you're dead. Brayden is going to throw Tariq under the bus somehow. Like he, Brayden is gonna do something as to where they feel like they have to kill him. I don't think Brayden really is going because it's like what he has to do is pretty much dedicate his life to another guy. You know what I'm saying? It's like his whole life his whole life purpose is to be Tariq's right-hand man. You know what I'm saying? I, and I, I understand the fact that he doesn't that he doesn't really rock with his family. But at the same time it's like come on, bro. Like you know, you have to be your own man and I think 
at some point, if he doesn't do it in court, he's gonna cross them, and that's why. I mean, shit. If and Drew is the most level-headed person, you know, out of you know, saying everybody on the show, or at least to an extent, or he's one of the most level-headed people on the show. And if he if he feels that he has to shoot Brayden, then Brayden is definitely gonna do some wild shit at some point that um, uh, people are not gonna like. Any respect that I had for Mecca, and I, I still respect his character, but like maybe a quarter of how I used to respect him. It used to be like, you know, four out of four, now it's just like a quarter of that. Because this dude literally, and shout out to Davis McLean, because if McLean didn't, didn't tell him that, then that wouldn't have given Tariq the confidence to step up to Mecca the way that he did. This dude being the biggest informant on like the East Coast or some shit like that, or in the Western freaking hemisphere, is crazy. Talk about a plot twist. So shout out to Courtney Kent for literally writing that because that surprised the hell out of me. I was like, oh shit, like I was not expecting that. I thought he was gonna be like, yo, this dude is like the biggest crime lord or drug lord ever or some shit like that. You stole from the wrong guy, but nah, this dude is, a, is, is an informant and everything that he's doing it's like first first of all first of all them going to some sort of paradise or whatever and then leaving everything behind is i i highly doubt that shit they're taking a first class trip to paradise and then to jail because mecca is not doing this or dante spears he's not doing this really to be with monet like this is just to get her in jail the fact that he said that he turned in felipe lobos which it, it makes me want to go back and check out the first you know uh, a series of power just to see if maybe I, I might have you know like they might mention him or some shit like that but um yeah like if if he if 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 he got paid by lobos to to do his bidding and still ratting him out what do you think he's gonna do about monet like he really don't care that's mecca was the one that put out the fact that zeke's real age Lorenzo is not worried about Zeke at all. I, I bet you honestly, like he he cares nothing for he cares nothing for Zeke. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why the only person who's playing chess in that aspect is Mecca. Like he's like the like the real chess player. Monet, I don't know why Monet is still sitting there like lying because it's it's all gonna come back to bite her in the ass. I feel like she's just using Mecca and then Mecca is really using her to use her to throw her in jail like it's it's just it's just it's just crazy man like and, and and look at the look on her face that's that i just killed lauren look and i slept it off and i give two fucks about actually you know killing somebody that didn't have to be killed like effie i said that in my other video effie is really just all over the place and then on top of that effie was flirting with kane uh she was like, "Yo, her and Kane are gonna get together, bro. Some, something's gonna happen because they, they're, they're talking. They were, they were, they, they, they got a little too close for comfort, in my opinion. They got way too close for comfort, bro. It's him or me, Kane. And when she said it's him or me, I feel like she wasn't talking about Lorenzo, and, and she wasn't talking about Mecca and her, because obviously Kane is not rocking with Mecca no more because." You, basically it's it's weird it's like when you're mecca's number three man you get respect but once you become like his right hand man you're literally bottom of the barrel and you get treated like dirt and then you could literally be gone like i really thought he was gonna cut off you know kane's fingers i really thought he was gonna cut off a finger i <laughs> honestly after this you ain't never gonna be the same yeah so in this case scenario Tariq is literally coaching kane to be a piece of shit just like him. For him to be telling Kane after this, you're never gonna be the same. They're gonna have to off somebody that they, he's, Kane is gonna have to off somebody that he doesn't want to. I don't know who that is. Cause he's not gonna feel bad about killing Braden, in my opinion. Like, look at the look on his face. Like, I, I think this is probably like the only time during the season that he really felt like, you know what? Let me actually listen to what Tariq is saying. You know, it's just, I don't know, man. But notice how, you know, Tariq still like OD plot armor. It's like right, right before he was gonna, you know, come across the strongest character on the show. 
he had Davis McLean pretty much spoon feed him like pertinent information that nobody really would have known. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, I really wanted Tariq to get the ass beating of his life. Like you've seen, you know, Mecca go full hash slinging slasher. You know, saying you know, uh, freaking beat niggas ass and shooting people in the head and and breaking fingers and stuff like that. Yet Tariq comes across this guy and then pretty much renders Mecca powerless. Like I'm, I'm really getting sick and tired of that. I'm really getting sick and tired of that. What the fuck? Yeah, yo, they literally, they literally, yeah, nah, that's that that's that's Kane. Yeah, but yeah, man, think things are getting crazy. Things are changing, but at the same time, they're staying the same because again. You know, Tariq is just not like he's just always like he's never in, he's never in any real danger in my opinion. Like he always has somebody looking out for him. And then in this case, it was it was McLean who came clutch. But at the same time, it's like nah, bro. Like I would have rather find like I would rather find I would rather find out that Mecca is uh, informant another way. Like that was too easy. That was too easy. It shocked me, but I'm like, nah, there was a better way to find out about that shit than that. You know, than that. But Tariq is a piece of shit. I want to say rest in peace to to Lauren, man. You know, she was no longer my favorite character, or she was no longer my favorite girl on the show. And then even, even Diana, bro. Diana literally, and she let me down tonight. Because Diana literally sat there and gave the performance of a lifetime like i i literally believed her she deserves an oscar an academy award an emmy naacp because that was literally the most fraudulent display of emotions ever she literally acted like she felt guilty about putting everybody on blast and confused as to why people were mad at her she knew exactly why people were mad at her but i legit thought that oh well maybe you know i don't know because the thing is on power all people do on power is lie and deceive each other so telling walking around telling people the truth is only gonna get you hurt or killed on that show oh I, I don't know why people everybody's mad at me blah 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 all this other types of shit she was like yeah can you give me a bottle of water whatever the fuck she said and then Tariq left the room immediately all them tears were gone she went right into this dude's phone and shit you know what I'm saying? And I was literally like, yo, this chick is like, all my respect for Diana out the window. Because I literally thought, I was like, yo, well, maybe she's being sincere. Nah, I mean, not that she had a choice because Lorenzo was like, yo, go get my fucking shit back. You know what I'm saying? But I, it's just like everybody on this show is just like a hot mess. And even Kane, because I was like, yo, none of this shit would be happening if he didn't agree nah not even that no shit would have been happening if he didn't plant Ramirez's badge in Tariq's drawer and if he didn't agree to Tariq's stupid ass plan because I didn't like that plan once Tariq was like oh we robbed the connect I was like bro why would you rob a guy like Mecca like I was like why would you why would you rob him the fact that they were like oh you know we're gonna use GTG to do it but I'm like yo he already he's gonna know that you did it and then there were mad dead giveaway signs first of all he was like oh you know, the fact I cut off the power on GTG once. Then you were the only one that saw, you know, Mecca's ring. And then you were acting mad sus and shit. Because you could just tell. Like, once you look somebody in the eyes, you can literally just tell, like, what's on their mind. Literally just by just looking at them. And once he was like, oh, you know, first things first, you got to get rid of the mole. And then he already was already like, oh, shit. And then started stepping back. Mecca already knew what it was. So I think that Brayden is probably... Now, Brayden is not going to die. Um, Brayden and Tariq are probably going to go their separate ways. I, I feel like something is going to happen, you know, as to where, you know, Tariq is not, um, Brayden and Tariq are going to go their separate ways. You know, Kane and Effie are definitely going to get together. You know, a lot, a lot, a lot of shit is going to happen on the show, man. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, but those are pretty much my predictions for this shit. Um, you know, very unconcise, but you know, I just had to sit on the fly. I only seen the episode once. I'm about to watch that shit a second time. So, you know, um, definitely watch my rent, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Good luck.